Hello guys, welcome back to another Windows Blue update. So this is the update for the 9364 build. So if you guys have been paying attention to the last two parts, I have shown you a bit. But today I'm going to be talking about the new productivity applications that they have out for Windows Blue, at least in this build. The first thing that we have is we have alarms, we have calculate, we have movie moments, and we have sound recorder. I'm going to go ahead and tell you about uh, calculate first. And uh, it's just basically a calculator. It's more ideal for tablets because, you know, the 10 inches doesn't look so huge on your screen. And if you have a 17 inch laptop or larger or even smaller, it seems a little clunky. There are standard, there is scientific, and there are converters. It's just pretty much simple. You get your equation and you add it, get your answer. Uh, scientific is a lot more different. You don't have all that X, Y, you know, graphing, so you only get the push parts of it. Um, and converter is just basically you convert, you know, a gallon to ounces or kilograms to, you know, a gram or whatnot. At first, I thought we were going to only be measuring volumes right here. But one thing that it caught my eye was this little arrow right here. And you can actually measure a lot more in regard to speed, area, energy, temperature, power, and data. This goes a long ways with a bunch of options. We go to bytes and we can go all the way up to uh, petabytes too. Um, so that's basic standard things for the calculate. Um, it's just your standard calculator. Um, in regards to settings, it doesn't have much about settings because it's not actually out there yet. It does allow you to rate and review. It has permissions and it has about. That's just the basic thing for calculate. So let me go ahead and close this. Um, going on to sound recorder is pretty basic as well. In regards to wanting to record something, whether you have a portable tablet or whether you have your computer, you just want to go ahead and take notes. This would be the ideal app for it, especially if you are reading something on a, a document and you just don't want to go ahead and have to read it off. You can actually just read it and hear it from that recording. Um, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just start recording. And from here, you can either pause it or you can completely stop it so the recording does end. Um, so those are two options. And then that recording can be saved. Um, you do get the options of renaming it. Um, you can go ahead and call this recording history one, and then you can go ahead and rename it. Uh, you have the option to go ahead and delete it. Also, you do have the option to go ahead and trim it, but I don't believe this portion of the app works very well. So I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. Um, you can probably have a bunch of stacked recordings right here, and they might be color coded. I'm not quite sure. So let's go ahead and start recording here. Then we can press stop. And does it go into a different color? I don't believe so. It only highlights the one that you are selecting and it goes into that color scheme. Um, there is no other settings besides the permissions and rate and review portion of it. So that's a pretty simple app. It's nothing too big. The other app is called Movie Moments. However, this app isn't currently working right now. So there's not much that we can go ahead and reveal in regards to what this Movie Moments application does. However, it does seem to go ahead and shut down unexpectedly. Um, the last thing is the alarms. Here you have something that is like more of a modern look. You can have it on or you can have it off. This will be the timing. This right here, the smaller one or the inside will be the hours and the outside would be the minutes. And if you wanted to, you can always edit. You can go whether it be Sunday through Saturday. You can have it for the PM. You can actually change it from, for instance, 9.15 all the way up to here. And that'll be set like that. Also, we have very few options for regarding sounds so you could have either alarm one or two or call one and two and or you can just have the occurrence to have it set at once and you can also save it or you can completely delete it or scratch it this one comes on and the color scheme for this is uh usually multi-color uh, for instance this will turn blue press save and then there'll be another one that might be orange it's a little spontaneous when it comes to colors but the alarm is pretty simple it's pretty straightforward when it comes to what you want to do and how you want to go ahead and get this app to work i don't think it has different types of styles in regards for the how the alarm clock looks it's just pretty straightforward if i were to have this alarm set at 9 35 go ahead and press save um, it might come up pretty soon and while i actually work in the start screen it might actually show up as you can see here and the only way you can actually turn it off is just go ahead and click on that but you'll be going into the app itself that's exactly how that app works yeah, so that's the overview for the four productivity apps in regards to Windows Blue. If you guys want to stay tuned for part four, go ahead and stay subscribed. And until next time, see you later, guys. Bye.